Okay, so let's expand our circuit and let's say that we're discussing about the circuit that has a uh, resistor in the source. Up to now we didn't have this, but we might actually have this. So there might be resistance in the, resistance in the source or uh, even better, we might actually have, uh, consider the case that we have connected an, uh, a real source instead of an ideal source. Remember when we were talking about having a microphone or any kind of other signal source connected to our circuit, it always had an internal resistance, right? So a real source looks like this. So this RS, you can consider it as the internal resistance of our source. But for whatever reason, if I have a resistance in the source, then my gain, uh, the voltage gain expression might actually change a little bit. Okay, so let's discuss that. So we have again, similar to the common source amplifiers, um, when we solved the first few examples, we kind of got good at it and we didn't really need uh, to draw this small signal model every time. So let's try to do the same thing here again. So we say that, um, yes, solution number one is to draw the small signal model, write the KCLs and KVLs and get to the K, right? But um, there's a better way to actually deal with this, which doesn't require doing that. The better way is basically based, um, based on the idea of knowing what is the resistance seen from here. So if I call this Rx, which is the resistance looking into the source of my transistor, I just, in the previous slide, I just realized that that resistance is equal to 1 over Gm, right? Looking into the source of a transistor, unless some exceptional cases happen that I have an extremely large resistor in the drain, which, well, for this course we never have, you will see a 1 over Gm. Okay, so if I know that I see 1 over Gm beyond this point that I'm showing with this dot, then I can say if I define the voltage of this point as, let's call Vx, I can look at my circuit in this way that I can redraw it and say, well, this is my Vn connected to ground. I have the RS, and this RS, I don't care what is beyond this point. I know that I can model the entire thing with 1 over Gm. That's the beauty of looking, the beauty of resistance seen from a point. You can just basically re, uh, remove the entire circuit there and replace it with the resistor, right? And this is my Vx, okay? Now, based on this circuit, I think everybody watching this video would be able to say that Vx is equal to 1 over Gm over 1 over Gm plus Rs times Vn. It's just a resistive divider, right? If I further simplify this, I can say that Vx is equal to uh, basically 1 over 1 plus Gm Rs times Vn, okay? So I just massage this fraction and I got to this expression. Great. So now, what's special about finding Vx first? Well, now imagine that I have this Vx, so I can say that I can look at this circuit in a different way. I can say this circuit, I can redraw it like this, Vdd, Rd, this is my Vout, this is my transistor, and this is Vx, right? Well, what does this circuit remind us of? Well, the circuit that we had two slides ago, the first common gate circuit that we saw, that instead of Vx here, we had V in back there, but then it's the exact same circuit. Since I know the gain of this circuit, I know that V out over V in, or sorry, not V in, over Vx is GMRD. Then I'm kind of done. Why? Because I found a way to relate V out and Vx, and I found a way to relate Vx and V in. So these two tell me that V out over V in is really GMRD times 1 over GM RS plus 1, or GM over 1 plus Gm Rs times Rd. 
And the reason I wrote it this way is that if you remember in the common source, we said that a lot of textbooks define this fraction as capital GM. So again, it very much looks like a common source with source degeneration. Remember that source degeneration definition was whenever we had a resistor in the source, we called it a source degeneration. So here we kind of have the same thing. So back then the input was at the gate and uh, the source was just connected to the ground through this RS. Now the input is to the source and the gate is connected to some, well, DC, which is an AC ground in a way. Uh, therefore, we can say that the gain expression, we can see why the gain expression is very similar to what we have with common source. Again, with the big difference that the gain is actually positive. It's non-inverted uh, versus the inverted gain that we have with common source. So there's no negative in the gain expression. So this is how you find the gain expression for a common gate stage without actually need the need to actually uh, draw the small signal model and do the all the KCLs and KVLs. All we did was that we said we have this attenuation factor in the beginning because of this internal resistance and we got the relationship between Vx and Vn and then we saw, we said that well if I have this relationship the rest of the circuit I know what is the gain of the rest of the circuit and this is the kind of trick that we use a lot of time that we try to see if we if we can actually convert the circuit that basically is being asked from us uh, to to analyze if we can actually convert it in a way or relate it in a way to a circuit that we know its gain right so this is one example and we're going to we have seen some examples of common source before and we're going to see more of these examples of common gate and later common drain uh, that we try to actually somehow relate the circuit of interest uh, to circuits that we already know their gain and input impedance and output impedance okay let's do another example so let's say that this circuit is actually given to us and we want to find the voltage gain um, again we're going to use the same trick we're going to say that okay if i somehow can relate this vx to vn then i can say that well, the rest of the circuit from Vx all the way to Vout, I know the gain of it, right? So I know that Vout over Vx is equal from three slides ago. I, can, I know that this is equal to GMRD, right? So all I need to know is what is the relationship between Vx and Vn? Again, this is one of the points that I ask you guys to uh, pause, try to actually calculate this thing and try to figure out what is the gain. And then after you're done, Try to resume the video and see if you did uh, correctly or not. Okay, so hope you all have tried this. So if you want to do it together, we would say that um, let's see what is connected to this Vx. So looking up, I know that I have 1 over GM. Looking down, well, I have to figure it out. So basically, I know that I have this vn to ground i have the rs and i know that i have this 1 over gm to ground and i don't know what to connect here instead of m2 well we have seen this before but let's try it again we have seen that this configuration of MOSFETs where gate and drain are connected to, to each other. We know that this MOSFET is always in saturation. Uh, we have discussed this many times before, but let's see if I want to know. The question here is that what would be the resistance looking into this structure? Well, if I draw the small signal model, I know that this is gate, this is source, this is drain. There is a VGS between the two. And gate is actually connected to drain interesting and there's a current source here the gm vgs and source is connected to ground and i'm connecting this test circuit vx and i want to or let's call it vt and i want to know what is the relationship between vt and it well looking at this circuit i can see that if here is vt from this node that I'm showing with the red dot to ground is defined as VT. It is also defined as VGS because 
VGS is also from this node to ground just because gate and drain are connected to each other. So I can say that IT, and then there is no current going this way because here is open. So this current is zero. Therefore, I know that IT is equal to GM VGS. KCL tells me that. And VGS is equal to VT. So it's equal to GM VT. Therefore, VT over um, IT is going to be equal to 1 over GM. But GM2, right? Because we're talking about this M2 transistor. So this is M2, so this is VGS2, GM2, VGS2, and all that. So now I know that, interestingly, looking into a transistor that is in the diode connected configuration, the diode connected configuration is when uh, the drain and gate are shorted to each other. When we're looking into this transistor, and it doesn't really matter from what direction we're looking at it, we can look at it from the source or drain, we're going to see 1 over GM. So I'm going to have a 1 over GM2 here, I have a 1 over GM1 up there, okay? And this is my Vx. Therefore, I can say that Vx over Vn is the resistor divider between, that, that, that is basically written as, uh, well, one side I have 1 over GM1, in parallel with 1 over GM2. Plus RS, right? So this is basically uh, the resistor divider, the resistive divider ratio. Um, if I actually try to massage this expression and do the common denominator, I'm going to get to 1 over 1 plus GM1 plus GM2 times rs okay so from this number one and this equation number two i can say that one and two can tell me that my v out over v in is equal to gm rd over one plus gm1 plus gm2 times rs okay so based on this uh, these analysis you can actually see again that uh, without actually drawing the small signal model of the entire circuit i i was able to write the gain expression based on the circuits that i knew from before i knew the core of my common gate which is from vx to v out and all i needed to do was to convert to to find the relationship between vx and vn and to do that, again, I used my, my, my knowledge from before. I used the knowledge of uh, the, the, the fact that the resistor looking into the source of a transistor, source of M1, this, this resistor, uh, this resistance is 1 over GM1. And I used the knowledge that this resistance looking into a diode connected transistor is 1 over GM2. And then I knew that, well, this resistance on the top is from Vx to ground, and the resistance in the bottom on the bottom is also from Vx to ground, so they're actually in parallel. So I found the parallel combination of the two and wrote my resistor divider, resistive divider um, expression.